in Pantheon Zone. Today we will discuss the classification of microorganisms. Living organisms are diverse, whether it is plant, animal, or microbes. They play important role in nature. Arranging these microbes in order or hierarchically based on its similarities or differences make it easier to know and get access to all the microbes. So, it is necessary to classify the organism. Greek philosopher Aristotle classified the living thing as plant and animal around 2000 years ago. John Stray defines species as similar pattern and genera for the group containing closely related species. Carl Lewis Linnaeus proposed was the science of taxonomy, the basic rule or taxonomic categories or taxa binomial nomenclature. Taxonomy. Taxonomy, Greek taxis means arrangement, nomius means law, is defined as the science of biological classification. Taxonomy is orderly arranging organism under study into group of large unit. It consists of three interrelated part, namely Classification. Classification is the orderly arrangement of organism into groups or taxa. Based on mutual similarity or evolutionary relatedness. Next we have nomenclature. Nomenclature is concerned with the assignment of names to taxonomic group in arrangement with published rule. Next we have identification. Identification is the practical side of taxonomy, the process of determining a particular isolate belong to a recognized taxon. Next we have level of classification. The main taxa or a group in a classification are organized in several descending ranks starting with kingdom and ending with pieces. Techniques for identifying or determining taxonomical characteristics Morphology, Physiology and Metabolism ecology and genetic analysis. Taxonomic hierarchy. First we have species, genus, family, order, class, phylum and at last kingdom. Division of life. Kingdom system of classification. Three kingdom system. Ernest Hacker in 1866 plant, animal, and protista to include unicellular organisms. Five Kingdom system with taker in 1960s based upon cell type, organization, and mode of nutrition. Monera, protista, fungi, plantia, animalia, Next, we have six kingdom system, different from five kingdom system by dividing prokaryotes into bacteria and archaea. Bacteria, archaea, protista, fungi, plantia, anemia. Then we have eight kingdom system. Carveral Smith further divided the protista, protist using rRNA data and grouping organism into two 
buyers. Eukaryota and bacteria containing a total of eight kingdoms. Bacteria, archaea, and then we have archaeozoa, protista, plantia, chromista, fungi, and animalia. Three kingdom system we have bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. Six kingdom system bacteria, archaea, protista, plantia, fungi, animalia. Traditional five kingdom system. Monera, Protista, Plantia, Fungi, Animalia. Five Kingdom Classification proposed by R. H. Whitaker in 1969. The main criteria of the Five Kingdom Classification was cellular organization, that is structure and body mode of nutritional pattern of organism this system place all or all living thing into one of the five basic kingdoms monera or prokaryote protista fungi plantia animalia So here we have the five kingdom classification. First we have Monera type unicellular prokaryote mode of nutrition heterotropic autotropic bodies lack well defined nucleus and cell organelles for example bacteria blue green algae. Next we have protista unicellular eukaryote mode of nutrition uh, autotrophic or heterotrophic body some organism use pseudopodia or cilia or flagella for movement example amoeba paramecium next we have fungi multicellular non green eukaryotic sporophytic or parasitic sometime symbiotic body uh, fungus is made up of long filament called hyphen. The network of the hyphen is mycelium. For example, yeast, uh, mushroom, molds, etc. Next, we have plantia, multicellular eukaryotic mode of nutrition, autotrophic body, and exhibit high level of tissue differentiation and have specialized body organs. Uh, for example, trees, plants. Uh. Next, we have animalia type multicellular eukaryotic mode of nutrition, heterotropic body exhibits high level of tissue differentiation and uh, have specialized body organs. They have a well defined nucleus and uh, well defined nervous system. For example, fishes, insects, human, birds, etc. Okay, next we have three domain system proposed by Carl Swartz and Fox is an evolutionary model of phylogeny based on differences in the sequence of nucleotide in the cell ribosome ribosomal RNAs as well as the cell membrane lipid structure and its sensitivity sensitivity to antibiotics comparing rRNA structure is especially useful because rRNA molecules throughout nature carry out the same function their structure changes very little over time therefore similarities and dissimilarities in rRNA, nucleotide sequence are a good indication of how related or unrelated different cell or organelles are. The system proposed that the common ancestor uh, cell gave rise to three different cell types, each representing a domain. The three domains are 
archaea, bacteria and eukarya. First we have archaea, archaea, archaea bacteria. Archaea are the prokaryotic cells. The cell wall of archaea contain no peptidoglycan. The archaea have membrane composed of branch hydrocarbon chain, many also containing ring within the hydrocarbon chains attached to glycerol by ester linkage. They are sensitive to some antibiotics that affect the bacteria but are sensitive to some antibiotics that affect the affect the eukarya. They contain rRNA that is unique to the archaea and differentially different from the rRNA of bacteria and eukarya. Archaea often live in extreme environment and include methanogens, extreme halophiles, and hyperthermophiles. Next we have bacteria. Bacteria also known as, as true bacteria are prokaryotic cells. Their membrane are composed of unbranched fatty acid chain attached to glycerol by ester linkage. The cell wall of bacteria contain peptidoglycan. Bacteria are sensitive to traditional antibacterial antibiotics but are resistant to most antibiotics that affect eukarya. Bacteria contain rRNA that is unique to the bacteria as indicated by the presence molecular reason differentiate uh, molecular reason distinctly different from the rRNA of archaea and eukarya. They include pathogenic and non-pathogenic bacteria living in soil, water, etc. Bacteria include mycoplasm, gram-positive bacteria and gram-negative bacteria. Next we have eukaryotes. Eukarya includes eukaryotic cells. Like bacteria, they have membrane composed of straight unbranched fatty acid chain attached to glycerol by ester linkage. Not all eukarya possess cells with a cell wall. But for those eukarya having a cell wall, that wall contain no peptidoglycan. Cell wall is present in plants and fungi. Eukarya are resistant to traditional antibacterial antibiotics but are sensitive to most antibiotics that affect eukaryotic cells. Eukarya contains rRNA that is unique to the eukarya as indicated by the presence molecular reason distinct different from the rRNA of the archaea and bacteria. The domain include protist that is algae and protozoa, fungi, plants and animals. Thank you and have a nice day.